Television has introduced a lot of rock stars, of course, to America, and tonight Elliot Mintz talks to the man who usually has introduced the rock personalities of the past 15 or 20 years. Elliot? Thank you. Dick Clark Productions earned about $10 million last year. As for the man himself, he is 44 years old, has been married twice, and has three children. Of all the disc jockeys and TV dance show hosts, he is the only one who seems to be constantly in touch with the musical tastes of America's young. The other day I visited with Dick Clark and asked him how he does it. Anybody uh, can do it who's spent 23 years doing it, provided you can get that 23 years behind you. I'm a voracious reader of everything from the Wall Street Journal to uh, Media Decisions, which is Madison Avenue's trade paper, to the Rolling Stone and Zoo World, which are underground newspapers for kids, to things even more avant-garde. I read 37 different pieces of material a week, hmm. usually on an airplane. And uh, once you get that, and then you talk to hundreds of young people along the way, and they, uh, for one reason, a reason or another, I find very easy to talk with. Uh, you put all of that together and you come up with what I call a, a seat pants survey of what's, uh, what's ready to be stocked on the shelves. I have to ask you, is there anything special that you do to maintain such a youthful image? No. I, uh, I have a very facetious answer. I say I have three answers and then, then the last one ends with a plastic surgeon. <laughs> that's, that's not true. Uh, it's, a, it's mostly hereditary. I break all of the rules. I don't eat the right foods. I've taken vitamins since I was a kid, and that isn't probably the answer. I don't sleep good hours. I work uh, peculiar things. It's, it may have something to do with just being around young people. Hmm. Uh, that may be the answer. It's a little too deep for me to put my finger on it. I prefer to think it's uh, hereditary. Have young people changed, really, in the past 25 years? You know, if you had a half hour conversation we could go into that in great depth the bottom line again is no they haven't people are always the same the mores have changed a little bit the ability to control birth has changed the morals of uh, the younger generation but basically they still now want the same things that i wanted when i was younger i can't say that of you because you're still young the musical taste of america's teenagers is fickle to say the least those who involve themselves in the business of catering to that audience have to develop an almost intuitive sense of what the kids will enjoy. And perhaps that is Dick Clark's real talent. He represents to young America what Ed Sullivan represented to their parents. Barney? And he's been representing it for a long, long time, too. I don't know why there's a fascination in watching those people dance on that show, but there is. Occasionally, I'll see it on the tube, and I'll sit there and look at it for 10 or 15 minutes. There's some fascination in I think it might have something to do with wanting to retain one's own youth vicariously.